Okay, this is a very simple concept. Uh, it is a space solar force field. Here's the sun. Uh, the rays go through the cone, fiber optic cables. Uh, uh, the cones act as a magnifying glass, just like when you um, focus uh, the heat source into a fine point. And same deal. So the sunlight is compressed to the cables as a fiber as a fiber optic acts as a uh, magnifying glass. So the sunlight goes through here. You can have one section or two, doesn't matter, um, just to show you how it works. The sunlight goes through here, and it comes out here. You can have one, two, or multiple cones of fiber optic cables. In this case, you have two, and then it goes spread out into little small ones. So that all these are smaller fiber optic cables. So the sunlight goes this way, and this is a lot more compressed sunlight, and then it gets delivered to these old smaller uh, compressed uh, smaller uh, fiber optic cables. So what you have here, uh, so the sunlight coming out this way acts as a force field. So um, the sun rays are here. Let me draw this right here. And they are blocked by another uh, sunlight coming out from the from the, the fiber optics. So basically, the sunlight is used against itself. So think of it: fighting sunlight against sunlight, or light against light. So the sunlight goes through the cable; it comes out this way. So now you, the the light's coming out this way, and this is a solar light. So now you created a force field of light, sunlight against sunlight. So, in a sense, uh, space vehicles can now get closer to the sun without being uh, overheated because the light is used um, uh, through the fiber optic against light. So, uh, it's a form of, of uh, force field. But e even then, you cannot get too close to the sun, but it allows it to get closer than normally you would be possible with. Uh, this is another form of a uh, uh, force field sunlight against sunlight. Um, it uh, could be used in different kinds of technologies on Earth as well as on um, space.